He's one of the angriest con men we've ever encountered. Convicted criminal Walid has been ripping off families, claiming to be a renovator, then doing a runner with their savings. When we tracked him down, he turned on us. Oh, me, oh, break it. Don't touch me. He's got a foul what mouth the and the a short you? fuse. You come to my house, I'll to you. Now Walid's okay. on the warpath, even mounting a footpath, attempting to mow down our crew. Oh, watch out. He's just a low light, a predator. It's just not right. This tradie has left a trail of destruction behind him, fleecing families and even preying on a woman battling cancer. He needs to be stopped in his tracks so other people can't be hurt by him. Because he's destroying lives. He's evil, he's a bully, he's got no conscience, he's got no morals. Marie and Leo wish they'd never laid eyes on Waleed al Hawuli. If you rank him amongst con men, he's right up there. He's in the top echelon of con men. His husband and wife say they paid the tradie a 50% advance of $24,000 to have him transform their family home into two so they could be financially secure in their golden years. And his excuse at the time was that he needed it to buy the materials. Then they claim he disappeared, ruining their retirement dreams. The money I gave him was two years' wages for me. I don't get any help from the government. Leo's been a hard worker, I've been a hard worker, so it is well-earned money. It came at an incredibly difficult time for Marie. Uh, my mother was sick and dying and her thoughts were with me when mine should have been with her. Evil. I'm turning Evil, cunning, conniving. Someone who plans to take you down deliberately and a lot of other names I could call him. Jeanette was battling kidney cancer when she first met Walid, but not even that stopped him from taking her money. So he, he knew, well and truly knew, that I was not a well woman at the time. She's now taking him to court over $10,000 she paid him to do home renovations. He got the cash off me and I, he never set foot in my house again. It was every excuse under the sun from Walid, from a virus to Ramadan, even a car accident. I had found a product review site and saw about 20 other people that have had the same problem. And I put my review and I told my story. And that's when he said, if you don't get that shit off, you'll see what happens. And, and I said, are you threatening me? And he said, sleep tight, you'll see, sleep tight. And we too were about to feel the wrath of Wild Waleed. Did they say they've been ripped off? Yeah, one of the ripped off, yeah. Don't record them, I'm telling you, I'll smash it. He told producer Luke his customers were nutcases who caused him to go bankrupt. Would you say See sorry to, to your victims, though? See you Waleed, later. would you say sorry? Hey, I did apologise to my victims. Uh, people have lost a lot of money. No, they didn't lose a lot of money because I've done a lot of the works. Go and get your facts right before you convince the, the me. Bully. Like, you don't need to react All like right. that, mate. Go and up. I'm telling you now, get We're just asking him legitimate I'm questions. telling you now, get Mate, we're just asking I'm telling you now, get Is there any truth? Of course it's true. Go to the court to look at my court file. We did. Walid al Halouli has been convicted of three counts of obtaining property by deception, theft of a motor vehicle and contravening a suspended sentence order. He was handed three months jail for those matters, but is now appealing the sentence. Consumer Affairs Victoria has also taken action against Al Hawuli when he was trading as BRB Modular Homes. They found he'd entered into contracts without being registered and took payments for services that he failed to supply within a reasonable time. I've already been charged for not having a building licence, $40,000 at the courts. Consumer Affairs just said, oh, welcome to join Long Queue, your property number 300 something. There's so many people suing him. Dami Collins is another of Waleed's victims. She says she's lost about $40,000 after hiring him to renovate her rental property. She says he ripped apart her home but then kept giving her excuses as to why he couldn't finish the work. Then she checked his builder's licence. And realised that it's not 
under his name is someone else's name. So why were you doing renovations or why were you offering to do because renovations? Because I was working with another person when I was doing renovations, he had his driving licence. He said like, I'm brother to you, I will never let you down. But Dad Amit Sharma claims he was conned out of $33,000 by Waleed. What did he promise he'd do? So he promised to finish that bar, mm -hmm. which all he did was just rip off the skirting and he left. I had to pay another $15,000 to finish the work. I'd say he's a bully with a lot of hot air that oh, really out. is there to scare people, but he's got no, no, no crunch. Essentially, he just doesn't want to pay anyone back their money. Cybercrime expert Simon Smith has been assisting some of the families. He's discovered the couple has a brand new car and home. Both are in Waleed's wife's name, making it hard for people to get their money back. Unfortunately, if it's a civil debt, um, he could just lie and say anything and they'll never get the money. Whether it's today, tomorrow, or in five years, you will be held accountable. That's what I would say to him. He should be in the jail. He shouldn't be free walking around taking everyone's money away. Until I get him or stop him from doing this to people, that's what I work for. Well, it is back in court next week to appeal his prior convictions.